Hello and welcome to Spark Automotive in today's video we're going to see 5 common causes of engine overheating and how to fix it. If your car's engine is overheating, it can be a huge hassle. Not only will it make your car difficult to drive, but it can also cause extensive damage to the engine. Understanding what the causes are, you can take steps to prevent them from happening and keep your car running smoothly, non-working or no coolant, if your engine is overheating, one of the first things you should check is the level and condition of your coolant. If there's not enough coolant in the system, or if it's old and needs to be replaced, the engine will overheat. Check the owner's manual for the correct type of coolant to use in your car. If the coolant level is fine, but the engine is still overheating, there may be a problem with the water pump or cooling fans, broken fan, a broken fan is one of the most common causes of engine overheating. The fan is responsible for cooling the engine by circulating air over the radiator. If the fan is not working properly, the engine will overheat. There are a few things that can cause a fan to break, such as a loose belt or a problem with the motor. In some cases, the fan may just need to be cleaned, thermostat is broken, one of the five common causes of engine overheating is a broken thermostat. The thermostat is a valve that controls the flow of coolant to the engine. If the thermostat is stuck in the closed position, it will restrict the flow of coolant and cause the engine to overheat. Another problem that can occur with the thermostat is if it becomes stuck in the open position. This will cause coolant to constantly flow through the engine, causing it to overcool and eventually freeze up. If you suspect that your thermostat may be failing, it's important to have it checked out by a qualified mechanic as soon as possible. A failed thermostat can lead to serious engine damage if left unchecked. The water pump is damaged. Another common cause of engine overheating is a damaged water pump. The water pump is responsible for circulating the coolant through the engine, and if it's not working properly, the engine can overheat. Often, a damaged water pump will make a noise that can be heard when the engine is running. If you suspect that the water pump is the cause of the overheating, have it checked by a mechanic as soon as possible, radiator is clogged or damaged, one common cause of engine overheating is a radiator that is clogged or damaged. A clogged radiator causing the engine to overheat. A damaged radiator can also cause engine overheating. A radiator can be damaged by a leak, by an object hitting it, or by corrosion. If your radiator is leaking, you will need to replace it. If it is only slightly damaged, you may be able to repair it with a patch kit. If the damage is severe, you will need to replace the entire radiator. How to handle engine overheating, turn off the air conditioning. This reduces the strain on your engine and can help it get regulated, crank the heater and fan up to full blast. This sounds counterintuitive but doing this transfers the heat away from your engine, giving it a chance to breathe, top off the coolant cooling system with antifreeze or water. Many times this will cool things off so you can get to your destination. Keep in mind this could be a temporary fix, so keep an eye on your engine. Because it contains hot water under pressure, be careful when removing the radiator cap. Allow some time for things to cool off before removing the radiator cap and use a rag over the cap to prevent steam burns. Rev it up, if you're sitting in traffic or at a stoplight, put the car in park or neutral and bring the engine up to 1500 RPM to get air and water moving through the radiator. In addition, keep the heat down by staying off the brake pedal when in traffic to keep air flowing through the radiator, pull over, if the temperature gauge continues to rise, it's time to pull over and call a tow truck to avoid further damage to your engine. Pop the hood from inside the car and let the engine cool for at least 30 minutes before touching anything. Have your vehicle towed to your mechanic for repairs, that's for today, I hope you learn from the video and let me give you daily tip of today on how to prevent car engine from heating. As the old saying goes, prevention really is the best medicine. To avoid being stranded on the side of the road, take steps to prevent your engine from overheating, be prepared, as part of your emergency road kit, be sure to carry coolant and distilled water or pre-mixed coolant for your vehicle, check coolant level, get in the habit of checking your coolant or antifreeze level on a regular basis.
Consult your owner's manual to ensure you're using the right mixture of antifreeze and water. Watch your temperature gauge. While driving, keep an eye on your temperature gauge. If it begins to creep up, you'll be in the right position to employ the steps outlined above to get your engine cooled off. Get leaks fixed. If you notice any antifreeze leaks, have your mechanic diagnose and fix the source of the problems right away. That's for today and thank you for watching.